Facebook has just uh, banned my personal account for trying to share this Fox News story. Now, Fox News obviously is a major legitimate network and legitimate stories. Uh, whether you agree with their opinion or not, they are a news source and nobody has a right to decide what news you see or don't see because of their political opinion. So I found this story here, uh, which is uh, after Philadelphia sees voting machine control stolen, reporter finds lack security at a warehouse. And what had happened was the day before, USB drives and a hard drive and some other equipment were stolen in Philadelphia for voting machines. So the following day, this news reporter went to that location and was able to walk right into the warehouse and has the whole thing on video which is in this story. Well, all I did was hit the little F down here for Facebook to share and I hit post. I didn't type anything, I didn't write anything that could get me in trouble. As soon as I hit post, I get a little red letter message from Facebook, your account has been banned for three days for violating community uh, terms of service. What the hell did I violate by doing that? I shared a legitimate news story that down here the reporter says he walked right into the election warehouse after reports that someone had stolen USB drives. The guy's name is Max Marin. He's reported it on Twitter. Uh, at the door there was no guards, no surveillance, and he walked right in. And this video goes on for a while, and you can see he goes in and is just walking Max around. Marin, the News. I just walked into an election warehouse in East Falls neighborhood. Philadelphia, he says, I just walked into an election warehouse and there's nobody in here. Sometime this week. I know it's quiet, and but I'm you can go to the original. I'll try to put the link uh, down below. Uh, again, I just walked but this guy's wandering around, around the whole place here. right after items um, were stolen. No security guards. Nobody stops him. These are the voting machines that are yeah, supposed to be that, secure. Then. So Facebook last week Zuckerberg Oops. came out and said you know anybody trying to spread rumors of election fraud we're gonna ban those stories so that means even if they're legitimate even if they're real news stories I mean you can see the guy's got the video evidence he walked right in and now Facebook is trying to hide from you they don't want you to see this story I mean, th this is election meddling. This is election interference. What Zuckerberg and Facebook is doing is exactly what they claim they're trying to combat. You know, it, this is election interference, preventing people from seeing the problems that are actually happening out there. They, they want you to have your head buried in the sand. You know, and you can read through this whole story. He's got pictures from the outside. He was able to walk right in. They didn't do anything. And then after the story was published, the Philadelphia mayor, mayor I mean, obviously, he took it seriously. He saw the video. He comes out and says, hey, we're going to ramp up security and increase guards at the site 24-7. Uh, why the hell wasn't that done before? There's an election coming up in a month. Why is that not already the case? These people are incompetent. And then Facebook is trying to hide what is going on. In these cities that are primarily left-wing, that anybody can go in there and fiddle with it, they don't want you to know. And then they're banning people's accounts for sharing this. And all I did was click the F to share the story that was enough to get my account banned with Facebook which uh, I personally think would be a violation of my rights of free speech you know that I can't you know even share a simple news story that has video evidence it's not making any outrageous claim he's simply saying I walked in there and this is what I found that's it 
So I went on to Twitter, shouted out at Facebook and Zuckerberg about banning accounts for sharing the Fox News story. I went to uh, Fox's Twitter and linked to the story and told them, hey, Facebook is banning people for sharing your news story. I think you want to do something about this. Um, gave a shout out to Donald Trump and, you know, these guys need to be regulated. This is the exact bullshit reason that Facebook and Twitter need government oversight and regulation by a third party because they are the public square now. You know, uh, I don't know what anybody can do with this, but I hope somebody does something. You have a great night.